Kia ora, ali'i, uh, and warm Pacific greetings. Our way of life in Aotearoa, New Zealand, is defined by the oceans. Our connection to the ocean is diverse, stretching from the warm waters of the Comatic Islands to the icy waters of Antarctica. The ocean links us with our extended whānau, or family, in the Pacific, where livelihoods and economies depend on the sustainable use of marine resources. There is still much more to be done to ensure these resources deliver and deliver sustainably for the Pacific. In partnership with the Pacific Island Forum's Fisheries Agency, Aotearoa New Zealand is announcing its commitment of 3.4 million US dollars to support the third phase of FFA's work increasing employment and economic benefits for the Pacific's tuna fisheries. This will ensure Pacific Island countries can access key markets to sell their tuna, like European Union, develop local fisheries businesses, and provide leadership training to women working in Pacific fisheries. But these benefits will matter for little if we do not address the greatest threat facing the Pacific, climate change. While we all know climate change poses a dire threat, there are still many knowledge gaps. How will communities be affected? How are our communities already applying innovative adaptation solutions that could also help others? What indigenous knowledge and cultural intelligence should we be using? To fill these gaps, Aotearoa New Zealand is pleased to announce our 3 million US commitment to support the University of the South Pacific and the University of Canterbury to produce the Pacific Ocean and Climate Crisis Assessment. This assessment will support Pacific resilience through effective evidence-based decision-making. It has a particular focus on ensuring the region's rich traditional knowledge systems are part of this evidence base. I encourage you all to go there and find out more about this exciting project at www.protectpacific.com. Vaftai.